Hi, I'm Doc Ellis from Oklahoma City. Now we're going to talk about video surveillance and federal workers' comp. There's a subconscious bias in our society against anybody who files a claim. We know they're all faking. That's not true. And sometimes supervisors and the Department of Justice and the Office of uh, and Inspector Generals do some pretty stupid things. I've seen some really bizarro videos of people. Can you tell I've got a little nerve down my right leg on a video? No, you can't. Uh, now, it, on ellisclinic.com, there's a handout, video surveillance. Print it out, you'll feel a lot better. The Employment Compensation Appeals Board has come up with a new ruling. This was a lady who had a bad foot, had a bad back, a nerve down her leg, and they got a video of her. Then the, do then the Department of Justice, Office Inspector General, edited the video, went into the orthopedic surgeon's office, scared the poo out of him, then came in with an affidavit for him to sign, then the Office of Workers' Compensation Programs denied the claim and denied the treatment, and then they're filing charges against her and all kinds of foolish stuff. Because, unfortunately, I've seen this over and over and over again, the Department of Justice doesn't read the rules. They're lawyers. They don't know how to look it up on the web, I guess. But I, sometimes I get so mad I have to kick ass, and that's what that, my job is. Anyway, the, the, this ruling was, first of all, the video is not good medical evidence because they may be on medication. Second of all, when the Department of Justice walked into that doctor's office, they became an agent for the employer, and the employer cannot talk to the doctor. And third of all, the Office of Works and Compensation Program is not an investigative arm. They can't use the information to begin with. And then they said, we hope this is a rare occurrence. Well, it's not. It happens all the time. Uh, it is hard to find people that know how to defend you in this. Uh, for instance, I had a, a postal clerk, been working for 100 years, and uh, he's had carpal, cupital, shoulder, neck, back, all, you know, he's, you know, he's surgeries. And they've got a video against him, and uh, uh, they're filing charges, five years in jail, $50,000 fine. We're having an oral hearing. And I go to, out of state, and, and I go to the oral hearing. Now, oral hearings are rather informal, but I've got a, a retired federal judge. I'd love to go on to dinner with her and have her tell stories. And now she's a professor of law at a, at a law school. And now she, all her life, has seen whores. Most people that do what I do are a whore. They're either a whore for the uh, one side that wants, to, wants a zero every time, or the side that wants 100% every time. And it's not that I'm ethical. It's just my Alzheimer's so bad I gotta tell the truth each time. It's just it's easier. Okay, but anyway, so she's sitting there. Now, if I let this leave this office, and it gets into federal court, this man's, uh, you know, dead. Okay, he's got the whole federal government after him. Got a, got a marshal out there ready to arrest him. Anyway, Dr. Ellis, what are you getting paid? Got a good steak last night. Don't you be flippant with me. I stood up, I said, ma'am, I'm a clinical professor of legal medicine. I'm probably one of the world's leading authorities on the medical aspects of the Federal Employment Compensation Act. Federal Workers' Compensation, probably know more than the law you do. Your Honor, I guarantee you I know more of the law than the entire Department of Justice combined, and I see them make this error over and over and over again, so I took off two days. It's going to cost me a couple thousand dollars. Uh, all I may get in pay is I got a steak last night, and the union's going to buy me some beers tonight. But I'm paying for everything, you don't need to teach me ethics, and I don't care if hair lips you or anybody else in this room, I'm going to tell you the truth. Of course, you know, like you can imagine the union representative going, oh my God, my guy's going to jail. And because she's mad than heck, I mean, she's, she doesn't realize in that situation, because she doesn't know the law, she doesn't have the right to do a contempt citation. This is an informal hearing. And then she goes, oh, leans back and turns me loose. And of course, I light into the supervisor, and their foolish attorney never even raised his eyebrows because he doesn't know anything. And I light into the Department of Justice. And when I'm through, she points to the supervisor and said, you settle this before lunch. You don't want my opinion. So I'm sure that office supervisor thinks I'm the Antichrist, and of course the guys think I walk on water. No, I just know the law, and I don't put up with anybody abusing my patients, and you don't have to either. And now you've got case law to protect you. Bless you guys.